Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel and today I want to share this awesome app with you guys and the app is called Baby Daybook and basically what this app does is it tracks your baby's feedings, diapers and a whole bunch of other things that I would love to show you. This is going to be kind of like a walkthrough video so it is going to be a little bit lengthy because I do go over the whole entire app but I hope it helps you how to kind of manage the app. So I did find this app after I had my first son and I found it really helpful especially going to the doctor and when the doctor asks you how many ounces of milk they're drinking, how many diapers are they making, how many wet or dirty diapers do they have. With being a first time mom and knowing the way I am, I do not write anything down whatsoever. So this app helped me kind of just keep track of everything, be able to answer those questions when I would go to the doctor. So without further ado, let's just jump right in into the walkthrough. So once you get your app, you're going to want to click on it and right when you click on it, it's going to ask you to add your baby's information. It's going to ask you for their name, their gender, birthday. You can choose a background color from all these nice colors right here. And then once you choose your color, you're just going to click it and it's going to change the color you want. And then you can also input if your baby was premature. You can add a picture if you'd like. And then right here up top, it just shows you how old your baby is. And then once you're done customizing and putting in your baby's name, you're just going to click this button down here and save. And then you also have an option right up here to add another baby or a toddler. So then once you input your baby's information, it's going to take you to this page right here. None of these stuff down here that I'm showing you is going to be here. It's going to be blank. If you can see right up top right here, it gives you the date of today. You can swipe to the side for yesterday. And then you can also swipe to the right um, for tomorrow. So the neat thing about this is that if you forget something the day before, you can easily go back and add it in. So let's take a look at these icons up here. Right here on the far left side, you have a breastfeeding option. So um, if you click that, you're going to see that you have two options right here to start on the left or start on the right. And if you click on one of them, it starts a timer for you and if you look right down here it says hide so you can easily continue breastfeeding hide this and continue doing whatever it is that you are doing on your phone and then once you've stopped breastfeeding on that side you click stop it shows the time that you ended it gives you how long the breastfeeding session was and then you can categorize it into a group if that is something you'd like to do, you also have a section right down here for notes in case you want to add anything and then you can save it or you can continue on to the right and you can um, resume on the right. So once you click stop, it'll give you the whole session and then once that's finished, you can just click save. It'll add it to today's schedule. Now, let's say that you forgot to input it yesterday. You can easily go back to whichever icon it is that you forgot and you can just change the dates right here so what you would do is you would just click december so instead of the 28th you'd put in the 27th you would have to change both of them so then it would let you save it and you could click save and it'll add it to the day before so let's take a look at the next option it's a breast pump so I would use this a lot with Benaya when he was younger. You can input all the information for when you're breast pumping. Right here you have an option for the left, for the right. If you're only pumping one breast, whichever one it is, you can easily just click one or the other. But if you're doing both at the same time, you can click both. And then right down here, you would just input how many ounces you made for both. And then you would just hit save and it would add it into your baby's schedule. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but right up here, it does tell you how many times you've breastfed throughout the day, how many times you've pumped, how many ounces you've pumped. If you can see right down here for today, Benaya has had six bottles and it's a total of 
30 fluid ounces so this is what i love about this app is that this app is perfect for when you need to go to the doctor and they start asking you questions well how many ounces are they taking how many dirty diapers and so on and so forth that is why i really love this app and i wanted to share it with you so if we take a look at the next icon it is a baby bottle it does tell you how long ago the last bottle was and Panaya's was 34 minutes ago and so you just want to click on it if you're going to do a bottle session and here it gives you the time and the date and then right here a certain category if you're not formula feeding you can easily just choose the mother's milk option and it would change it to that if you are formula feeding you would click formula and again you would add how many ounces you're eating and again you have the option to add notes and then you would click save so the next option I want to talk about is this option right here. It says drink and this is just for older children. You don't specifically have to use this for smaller babies. You can use this for toddlers. So as you can see, you can um, add in how many ounces they drank and you can categorize it. They have the option for juice, for tea, for water. You can add any other ones that you want. You can also edit the word if you use a different word for it so that's really awesome about this app is that you can customize it to however you'd like and then the next one has a bid and says food with here you would just pick whichever option you like you have cereal fruit meat snacks veggies again you can add some if you want you can edit these words and just select whichever group you want and then you can easily just save it so the next option is diaper change it gives you an option if they wet the diaper if they made a dirty diaper um let's say they didn't wet it at all and just had a dirty diaper then you would just take off the wet option and if they did both you could have both options on there and then you would just save it and it would just add it into the baby's schedule so if you continue scrolling off to the left here you can see that there is an option for potty so once you click potty, it's basically the same thing as doing a diaper change. It gives you an option for pee or for poo, and then you can add notes there if you'd like, and then you would just save it. Again, it adds it into the schedule. Then the next one is sleeping. This one is a timer, so again, you can easily just start it, then you can easily just hide it and continue doing what you're doing, and then once your baby wakes up, you can press stop and then you would save it the next one that we have right here is a bath and this one gives you an option to pick whether you wash your baby's hair or not they all kind of have the same format and being able to add notes on the bottom right here so again you would save it it would add it to the baby schedule the next one you have right here is medicine so you click on medicine and you can group it so if you be if you give your baby benadryl moltrin Mylocone, Tylenol, Vitamin D, maybe you want to add one on there, and then you would just save it on there. So if they are sick and taking medicine, you can know when is the last time you gave them the medicine. Um, the next option is temperature. If they have a temperature, you can easily just customize it right down here, then click save. It would add the temperature into their schedule. If you are trying to have your baby do tummy time for a certain amount of time during the day then this is a perfect option you have this and again it's a timer it works exactly like the sleeping and breastfeeding and then you would just save it into your schedule so you also have a playtime option which is again another timer and it works just like the previous ones you also have one walking outside which is a timer as well and then you have other activities which is a timer as well so this is pretty simple to use and i like all the different options that you can use on this app you also have these three little dots and in here you can choose which icons you want to be shown so for instance if you're not breastfeeding or pumping if you're not giving your baby anything other than a formula playing activities or any other activities you would just save it and then it would just show you the icons that you really do need most so now if we click on these three little lines over here you can see that below daily activity you have an option for growth so if we click growth so in here you can easily just add your baby's information you can add their weight you can add their height 
their head size again add notes on here and you would just save it and each time you would input information it would just gather it all together right here in a list you can see that below that there is a timeline statistics and an option to export the file and if you notice right here they are locked because i am using the free version so if you'd like to use these options then you could just upgrade to the pro which there is an option right down here and then below that there is a forum in which that you can use and if you have any questions about the app you can definitely use this option i've never used this option before so i don't know much about it below that there is a backup and restore which you can use that so you can back up your information and then below that you have your settings option now once we get to the settings option we see that we can change our language so if English is not your first language you have um, many many different languages here that you can choose from and then below that you have an option to change your units and your units on your growth your temperature units as well if you want to change your screen orientation it has an option for auto portrait or landscape if you prefer it one way or the other and if you continue scrolling down it gives you an option whether you want your daily activity icons to be positioned at the top which is how we have them or at the bottom and then you also have an option for your clock and your calendar and it gives you an option for spinners on both and this basically just means is that you would kind of just scroll through the dates or times instead of actually choosing from the whole calendar and then below that you have an option to continue counting from your last breastfeeding session and then right down here is just more information on the app so that is how the app works if you made it this far thank you so much for watching all the way up to the end and i hope this video helps you out if you know anybody that's expecting or maybe is a new mommy or needs help tracking their baby's schedule then definitely recommend this app to them so if you enjoyed it or found this helpful please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of these mommy related videos so again thanks so much for watching i'll see you for my next video bye